kick. Okay, here we go for a second half of action at Central Kidsap High School as the Cougars host the South Kidsap Wolves. And we got a good one tonight. Cougars leading 29-25. I'm the Dr. Doc Park from West Sound TV. Can you on the other microphone? I'm very happy to welcome Mr. John Sitton. And boy, that was a fun first half. It was a great first half, guys. And you know, to, to quote a great, the great basketball coach, the legend Les Ethorn, he says, the start Number of the third 14. quarter, the start of the game, the start of the third quarter are the most crucial parts of a basketball game. Let's see which one of these teams handles it. Well, South started out putting two more points on the board. And a takeaway by Martinez. Oh. That shot's off. Corey with the rebound. Ball is knocked out of bounds. And <laughs> it'll come oh. in to the Central Kitsap Cougars. Corey Corey will bring it in. Carico, excuse me. Over to Andre Thompson. Tyler Parker in there. Ty Luna. Nice. I don't know how they got that one off, but they did. <laughs> well, our leading scorers in that first half, Ty Luna had 11 for CK, and they were 10 of 20 from the field, field goal range. Whoa, what a drive to no avail by Simpson, and a two on one for the Cougars. Nice job. Oh, that was a great pass. Number 15 right there, Tyler Parker, great decision. Beautiful assist. And I thought he was putting it up, and he still passed. So great he had me fooled. Good assist. 31-27, and an almost a giveaway there, a turnover. But South Kitsap maintains it. Parker trying to knock it loose. And number 24 is Hazley. Well, that's cruel to put Corey up there with those long arms. 32 is Martinez over into the corner for a long shot by Newquist, but a putback is good for Angelo Hazley. Those are Hazley's first two points of the evening. Central gets up quickly down the other way. Oh. Hit for three. Well, I found the play, great three-point shot. And I think it was uh, number 24 for uh, oh, South Kitsap was pushing on the back on the weak side there. Second. That's his fourth foul. Fa yep. Foul if it was him. Nope. Thir We're seeing a 32. I've seen a 32. Yeah, and there's Martinez. Looks like they're going to tag it on Martinez. Yep. And CK, well, 24, I believe, is I'm what? like Coach Callahan. I'm asking. I thought it was on there. Uh, okay. Nope. Uh, well, I guess not. If it was 24, that would have been his fourth. Yeah, hey, uh, we got a discussion out there by the referees. Partially, I think, on whose it's on, and then it was whether or not the basket counted. That's correct. They're checking on that. And this is Jack Lawson coming over to tell the scorer's table. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. Well, we're all playing here. And we're still talking about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, they are. I think you need all three referees <laughs> let's, in, let's all in be the, the process. Uh, Coach Callahan <laughs> was wondering what Oh, there was we go. There we go. Yes, it, it is. is. 24. It was on Hazley. Yep. And I'm not sure you wanted to talk him into that, actually. <laughs> that is his fourth <laughs> foul. So. No, Coach of mine said, could we push this a little faster? We didn't want it. <laughs> But no, that was Okay, true. we have all three 24. referees out in the three-man rotation. Everybody catch a breath, settle down. CK inbounds it, and a travel. So South Kitsap will get it, 34-29, five-point lead here for the Central Kitsap Cougars in the third period. Scott Evans is trying to convince 24 to do the inbound pass, but he's being substituted for. Yeah, coming into the game is Aaron Ladeau. Good breakout. Martinez over to Griffiths. For Heisen, excuse me. And Central takes it away again. Two on one. Corey will step in. Shot is off. And they're going to call a foul on that one. That and foul's going to be on Ty Luna. Ty yep. Luna. That was tough. I mean, I think of both players. Look, good aggressive play on both players, and uh, I don't know if I would have called a foul. 
only one on him. It is a dangerous place in front of that CK bench oh. as Coach McMines goes back and forth. Long oh, pass down to the end zone and unfortunately could not get it to Devin Newquist. CK coming away with it. But they give it back to SK. Maybe. Yep. At least for the moment. <laughs> Simpson oh, driving in the middle. Excellent job. That was quite the move. Simpson started the Hips game. Hips of body working. Oh, he was. Yeah, he started the game with two three-pointers, and that's his first basket since then. So Luna's going to try the three. That one's off, and Southkin Sepp comes away with it. Oh, a big possession here. They're so, only down by three now. Martinez not afraid to drive the basket. Good Back defense. Back to Simpson. There you go, Simpson. Kitty. He called his number. <laughs> Ties it up. Yeah, look at that. For the South Kitsap Wolves at 34-34 at the 5-16 mark at number three. And John, that first part of the third quarter, looks like South may have come out just a little bit hotter. I think so, too. I think they've got a, they've had a really good focus out there. They're doing a nice job at it. They're hustling after the balls. And uh, uh, I think that little discussion over here and, uh, for Central Kitsap is that uh, from now on, anything that's loose, it's our ball, not South Kitsap's. And also, I think he wants to ramp up, get a get a body on these guys and keep them off the backboard and don't let a South Kitsap penetrate. And John, you predicted CK would come out looking for those transition baskets. It's been South Kitsap it's been that has South. had them. Absolutely. 34-34, yeah. all tied up here at the 516 mark at number three. A great Narrows League contest tonight. Well, Doc, when we started the game, the first name I had to cross out was Josh Sontag for the mm -hmm. CK, play, CK team. Number 13 has had an unlucky season. He tore his ACL and oh, is no. out for the season. Oh, that's a shame. He's one of my Cougar Valley oh. basketball buddies, so it oh. just kills me. Yep, that's a shame, Josh and Jacob Sontag. Yep, Jacob is now at University of Portland studying engineering, mm -hmm. and that's where my daughter just graduated oh, and got a job. So I told hey. her that was home. Oh. Congratulations. And she too in engineering. Oh, wow. Very good. Second. All right, CK now gonna put a little pressure on there, moving the pressure to the half court line. Tyler Parker setting up to come in. Martinez over to Ledeau, he elevates for the three. Yep. And they're gonna call off loose ball foul, I believe, down low. I think it was just actually, it hit yeah. a part that it's not allowed to. No. And so it'll extension. come down, yeah. <laughs> stanchion, always, how many times do you get to say stanchion? Always good Why for not? a few of those that calls <laughs> in every ball game if you're a Central Kitsap uh, fan. <laughs> yep. That's right. <laughs> CK with the leather. Whoa, Morgan will just take it into the paint. Nice block down low. And CK will maintain the possession. Looked like Chamlin <laughs> might have an open space, yeah. but the very last moment, South got a hand on the ball. 440 left to go in the third period. Might be checking the shot clock and whether they're... Yep. Yep, yep. that's what it looks like. They're gonna move it to 28 seconds for CK. Inbound comes to Thompson. He'll take the shot immediately. 4-3. Three. three point lead now for the Cougars, 37-34. First three points for Thompson this evening. Martinez tries a spin move. South's got to kick it around. Oh, they're going to call it. Yeah, boy, I was looking, Nars is, Martinez is really having to work it's to going. even get the ball down court. They really are, and uh, it's fun to watch the defensive pressure here. South really doing a nice job of looking to penetrate. They're really, they're, they're working all those, uh, all the rolls and trying to get some seams in there, and it's, it's not easy, but they, uh, they got the, the foul call. That is three fouls on Corey. Yep. Simpson brings it in to Lado. That's huge. Martinez back to Simpson. Ooh. Oh, they're going to say he dropped his shoulder, I guess. They're calling him pretty tight. 
Well, I think right now both coaches are saying, okay, if it's tight or if it's not, but they're just looking maybe to be consistent. I yeah. think both the coaches are looking at each other right now. It's That's their statements anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Luna with it. Over to Parker. Parker like this before. Ooh. Oh, ow. Ooh. In and out, man. South Kitsap coming away with it. Thompson hit the floor, but up quickly. Uh-oh. Oh, nice oh look. Martinez found the man down low. He, Heisen, James Heisen. Nice job by Martinez. That outside shot is off, and South with the rebounding numbers grabs it. This time Martinez will put a little speed on. Oh, the underhand layup won't go, but South had it, and Central takes it away. The Cougars with it. Morgan, and a oh, nice God. layup by Thomas. A nice job by uh, Morgan, excellent job. And good angle by Thomas. Really nice job of calling it, Doc. This, the game is moving so quick, I'm not sure how you're getting the names out right now. I was gonna say, this is some pace on this game. Yeah, <laughs> this quarter. 39-36 lead for the Cougars over these Wolves. And Martinez goes inside again. This time it's off the board and pulled down by Parker. Parker will take into the paint, and Ooh. blocking foul. Uh-oh. And Ledoux, not happy with that one. Now, if you were in the NBA or even in college, they now have that little circle. Little circle. And I think he was probably within that smile. Yeah. Yep. But he had fairly decent position. And that's three on Aaron. Three on each team at the 2.52 mark in the third period. And going up to the free throw line is Tyler Parker. Parker has seven points. That was nice to see a drive that time. It was as if Central yeah. Kitsap had fallen in love with the three-point shot. And they weren't going down Lydia, I'm, uh, Kitty, I'm glad you brought that up because it was one and, you know, down one and, and done. one and done. And, and absolutely right. First shot through. Parker with eight points. Yeah, we got a bunch of subs coming in for South Kidsap. Badeau gets a seat. Time. I think a, a good job here with about 2.52 left in this quarter. The intensity level is way up in this uh, third quarter compared to the first half and making sure everybody's gonna have fresh legs going into this fourth. Give everybody a little blow right now and have that opportunity. Parker, second shot out and Martinez rebound for the Wolves. Ooh, he turns it into another gear. Ooh. That Central comes away with a loose ball. It's going to be knocked out and off <laughs> of Central. Oh. I don't think it was actually touched. That it was just kind of not. lost control. <laughs> he was so excited was with the two effort. on one. Oh. And again, Central's doing a nice job in that paint on the D, John. Yeah, they really are. And there's active hands all the time. They're recovering after penetration is made. They're recovering well to create more pressure. Martinez looks like he's doing everything he can there. Over to Parker. Oh, they read that well. They did, didn't they? Good spacing by the Cougars. Ty Luna from the corner. And board pulled down by Newquist. And Martinez into the paint again. This oh, time it drops for him. First basket for Martinez this half. Whoa, Parker will take it to the iron and get a trip to the free throw line. Boy, those guys just are not afraid to go to the basket, are they? there. This is fearless, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. But it creates these opportunities right there. Either you're going gonna, you're gonna to go for a high percentage shot or you're going to have a chance of drawing that foul. But it's... Uh, it plays well now, and also the intensity level that that creates by that type of basketball is exactly what helps you on a defensive end, too. And as you said, John, they're unselfish. They've been oh, they're more than willing to pass and, and yep. are looking for that guy coming down the middle. 41-38, and Tyler Parker can put another point on the board for the Central Kitsap Cougars. Tyler into double figures with 10 points. Yeah, okay, we've got a timeout, CK. Two minutes left to go in the third period, and it's a four-point lead for CK, 42-38. Oh, 
Oh, an entertaining ball game. Very entertaining. Nice timeout now with two minutes to go here. Well, I, I think it, in this third quarter, CK's had more breakout opportunities in this transition we've talked about in South Kitsap, and I'm sure they'll keep highlighting that. And they're attacking much better. And I think, I think South Kitsap's done a really nice job of being tenacious. They're fighting real hard in there in the backboard. And I think what now is, it, as Martinez doing a good job, is I think the rest of the players after Martinez penetrates have got to make sure that they've got separation from the, from the person's guardian so he can make some good dishes out there. Then they're going to be fine. Well, and I think Martinez got a little frustrated. A couple of yep. his passes were to a wide open guy and the shot yep. didn't go down. Yep. So he starts thinking he has to do more, more, more. Yep. And he's doing enough. He's he doing really enough. is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. He's doing a great job. What a pace to this ball game tonight. Two minutes left to go in the third period. The Cougars up 42-38. Teams basically tied in the Narrows League at this point, three and four. And you know who's knocking on the door right behind them? It's yes. the Tides from oh, Gig boy. Harbor. This is a huge game tonight. This is a huge game in the Narrows League for both these clubs as they come down this stretch run now. And uh, this is a huge night, and it's uh, anybody's game yet. And South Kitsap brings it in. Martinez with the ball. Suddenly back to the zone again. Yep. Callahan out front. Do a nice job of extension, getting those passes a little bit, but good spacing. They're maintaining their spacing. Traxo gets it in the paint and can't do anything with it. Ball loose. Central Kitsap pushing it hard. Ooh, nice turnaround, but wouldn't go down. And the rebound pulled down by South. Ooh. Oh, South maintains the possession. Bodies on the floor. Thompson is able to get up again, but he has met that hardwood more than once tonight. And he'll take the jumper off the front, but Parker with the board keeps it alive oh, for the man, Cougars. Where are we? Yeah, they're going to say push off down low, and it looks like they're going to peg it to Ty Luna. Tough series uh, defensively for South because we came down a lot of open people for Central Kitsap. All the, all the South players in the paint They're having trouble getting to the perimeter right now, and uh, boy, that could spell well for the Cougs. I, I like this defensive change that Central did at the two-minute mark here in this 2-3 zone right now. Ty Luna at the center of that zone. South are working around. Callahan will elevate for the three off the iron, and Luna with the board. Oh, nice out. Oh, nice good out. Good outlet. Beautiful and job. Nice that was pretty. Thompson to oh. Morgan. Do you get to give double assists on that? Because oh, that was nice. just so pretty. We had great outlet, and then we had a great feed, too. The ball's not touching the floor. That was a great break. Oh, some heavy work down low, I'll tell you that. And Luna comes away with it. Luna is a lanky but strong young man. Very, yes. Plays big. He does. Yes. Yeah, he's listed at six foot four. And that's as big oh. as they have out here yeah. tonight. But even so, he's just, he does a really nice job on the boards. Central's done a nice job without Corey out there on the floor, and he was rigged. He, he got the star that first half. It was very important, but CK's done a nice job with his absence because of foul trouble. Well, they have used a big variety on their guards. They're using yep. a lot of players mm -hmm. and not losing a step with no. any of them. Shot clock is off, and down to 15 seconds. South Kidsap with the possession. Riley Callahan out there with it. And the jumper is off. CK's got it. And that's the end of three periods. CK with a six-point oh. lead, 44-38. And that was quite a quarter of basketball. Good, good quarter. South came out really tough after the half. Seven kids have made a nice adjustment to that intensity. And then really got into the flow in transitional attacking of the basketball for Central Kids that did a real nice job. And uh, they've got a nice little lead right now, and they earned it. I think they really did. Their intensity level was very good, defense and offensively in the third quarter. And as you said, John, South did a great job coming out. They tied it up at 34. Yeah. They've only scored four since, and uh, you notice some of the changes that Coach McMines did on defense, and that's helping them right now. You know, another aspect of the game that the viewers will probably watch tonight, but we watch the players out there on the floor, but it's fun to watch the coaches and their timeouts, their substitutions, and their adjustments 
during the game and in halftime. And it, it's both coaches did a nice job. And I think in the third quarter, the coach McFly did a nice job of making some adjustments to give the Cougars the edge. Well, South Kitsap came out pretty hot at the beginning of that third quarter, got back right within oh, yeah. two points, and Scott, Coach McMines, yep. kind of settled his guys down a little bit. Yep. And CK will start out the fourth period, 44-38, a six-point lead for the Cougars over the South Kitsap Wolves. The one thing we failed to point out every once in a while, these guys are high school students. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they are executing the game plan quite nicely considering I, I've noticed, you know, the coaches can tell you one thing, but whether or not these guys are gonna take it and execute it is a whole nother story. Oh, well, Parker will step into the iron and he's gonna get fouled. That'll be tagged on James Heisen. Kitty you made a great comment. I think tribute to these coaches because these coaches oh, are very 12. good. Their players oh, resemble Simpson. that because the discipline Four. on the floor of both clubs tonight has been very good. Yeah. Coach is asking these things other than they're, they're executing and performing, and that's a it's good Four. discipline Four. led by great coaches. Well, it turns out the foul was on number 12, what I was gonna Tom say. Simpson, yeah. and number four on him. And yeah. Martinez is going to come in to replace him. Martinez not getting much of a rest, which is what the coach wanted to give him a little bit at the start of the fourth. Parker's first shot down. And we need a towel break. Got some moisture out there uh, in the black paint area. Well, we're very, uh, we want to thank the kidsapsun.com for streaming uh, this program uh, every Tuesday and Friday, in fact, for the next few weeks. We'll have a live game on the internet at the kidsapsun.com slash game of the week or prep zone. And of course, the games will be shown in replay on uh, BKAT, Channel 3 Wave Broadband and Channel 12 Comcast Cable. That one's off and the board pulled down by South. Draxel brings it down and gets it over to Martinez. Rico Corey back on the court with Luna now. 2-3 zone again by Central Kitsap. Martinez out front. Oh, going inside. They've tried oh. that one a few times, and unfortunately, Heisen hasn't been able to complete it. Heisen did a really nice job on that series. Once the ball came back to the point, he got leverage on, on Corey, so when the ball came back, he had a nice angle to the basket. That was a really nice job of set up by Heisen. Good, good pivot play. And that fouls tag to Carrico Corey, who now has four of them. Each team with five team fouls, and coach is gonna bring Corey out here with 7.19 left to go in the game. They may need him later on. Tyson's second shot goes through. Tyson with five points. And Lino back in. Full court press here. South Kids have looks like they're staying with the man on man. Yep. Oh, Thompson had nowhere to go there. He kind of got bailed out on that blocking call. Yep, it was tough. tough. First, first nice uh, nice screen set up high there. It was tough for Callahan to get around and uh, ended up with a foul. Quick pass in and Thompson couldn't complete it. South comes away with it. Traxel's got it. He pulled up his dribble, so he's got to give it to somebody. Martinez out at that high point. Callahan double team. He gets rid of the ball. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Double screens, one on both sides. Oh, and an air ball. South Kitsap saves it. Save. No, there should have been a shot clock violation. That's what Central Kitsap is wondering. Yep. It did not look like it hit iron. It didn't. They oh. reset and that was a mistake. 
Ty Luna with it. Down to Parker. And Tyler Shell. Great job, great job. That one was two. Parker having a great game so far this evening. Callahan out to Martinez. Tracks are set in the screen for Nars. Shot is off, rebound to Morgan, and he sends it straight ahead to Michael Thomas. And that's, this is good to see, John, with a little bit of uh, adversity there with that Touch shot clock. Roll. Central Kitsap still stay did not lose composure. Still stay disciplined, Ab absolutely. You know, I think right now, guard play has it, been significant for Central Kitsap. has been very sound. Jim, you made the point. The good guard play made up for when Corey was not on the floor. They made some adjustments by going with more guards. They got great transition. They've gotten really good defense out of their guards. And I think that's been the difference in that second half. It's a real solid guard play by the Cougs. Offensively and defensively. And they have done what Coach McMahon said they needed to do. Stop Nars Martinez from penetrating. And You're absolutely, uh, Martinez could not get off and have a hot night tonight. Correct. Wherever he went, no matter what zone or man, it was pressure, pressure all the time. 5.31 left to go in the ball game here in Silverdale and the Cougars up over the South Kitsap Wolves, 49-41. I'm not sure the coaching staff has gotten over the 35 seconds yep. yet, but that's okay. The players adjusted appropriately. They did. Just, so, you, you just keep we playing. Go. We haven't seen the clipboard on the floor yet. No. <laughs> no. Pioneered by Coach Ethor. That's right. <laughs> Martinez with it. It might be in the genes of Mr. <laughs> Lindbergh. <laughs> Forcing him to keep it way outside. Down low, that was a nice job down low that time by Devin Newquist who waited for the D to go over the top. And I like what South did it with about five minutes to go. We're not taking long shots. We'll still be patient and get inside because if we don't have that opportunity, maybe we'll get fouled. They're keeping all the options open by having good interior offensive play. Going to call and the travel that time. Yep. 16 well, we, fouls on the South Kitsap Wolves and five on the Cougars, so we are not in the bonus for either yet. Well, we did the East-West alumni game a week or so ago, John, and uh, Kitty asked Coach Kevin Olson of the East High Knights if he'd been practicing the clipboard. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's absolutely. Nice dish down low, but Lado could not quite handle it. That was a pretty low pass for so many yeah. hands down there. Yeah, that's, that's tough. Pulled up at the half court line, but he got away with it. Oh, a three pointer for oh. Michael Thomas. And it's up to a nine point lead, 52 43 for the Cougars. A little over four minutes to go in the game. Suddenly, Thomas has 12 points, nine points Quiet, this huh? half. Yep. Oh, they tried for the reverse. Lado had the board, couldn't get it back in, and Central comes away with it. There's almost oh. the alley oop. Oh, Morgan my says it's Morgan. our ball still. <laughs> oh, what great hustle! Number 24, Morgan Michael. and Michael Thomas. You gotta watch them as soon as they rebound. How they're looking ahead for that outlet. Absolutely. It is just fun to watch. Uh, and I really like the tenacity on that last one. There's oh, another takeaway. Morgan's got the breakaway. And put it down. Oh, Off the glass, and John Callahan has Morgan. seen enough. I'm out. Oh, that was a seven point spurt, I think, oh. right there. Wow. Wow. Kitty, you mentioned it too. Tom, is Thomas? Are you that correct yes. there? What a, what a real nice shot. He's been quiet, but he's been there and effective and really hit some key shots. Parker, what a job he's done all night, especially in the transition game. He's done a wonderful job. And also, Chandler Morgan has come in and really been a facilitator to make it kind of work too. It's a great assistant, assistant assist on his plays. 
Well, it's fun to watch the variety of guards that Coach yeah. McMines can put out there because yeah. Andre Thompson may only have three points. He's been tough. He's always looking ahead, always looking for the outlet. That last breakaway started with his rebound. 3.23 left to go in the game, and Central Kitsap has got a 56-43 lead over the Wolves. And it looks like they might put a little three-quarter court pressure on them, John. Absolutely. And that's good. I, and I like that approach. It keeps you aggressive. It Absolutely. Makes you, you don't get just set in your ways. Takes I like that, too. time off the clock. Yep. Right now, that clock is as much a and it doesn't make it easy. Cell. No, that's right. As the Cougs. Mar oh, Martinez crosses the half court line. Dish to Ladeau, kicks it back out to the corner, and the shot would not go down for Nyquist. Ty Luna's got it. Oh, Corey's wide open, Way and Luna that. gets to him. Offensive foul, and he is out of the game. Ooh, that's an that's awfully tough bad. call. I did not I, think he had enough know, time to set himself. I'm going to vote with you. I, I <laughs> absolutely do. I think it was a fine play. And uh, good vision on the pass, too. Head was up. Saw Corey come open inside there. I agree. The, the one thing that might have given him time to get in position was it took a second for Corey to corral yeah. that pass. Yeah. Well, and of course, again, as you said, in college or pro, that would not have yep. been a charge because it would have been inside that sure. inner circle. 2.59 left to go here, and South Kitsap's got a 13-point deficit to cut down. Time is going to become important here to the Wolves. Cougars back in that 2-3 zone now. It's fun to watch the up guards on the 2-3 zone. They do a really good job of good spacing. Oh, sure. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And Martinez took the shot, would not go down. Central Kitsap again coming away with the board. Oops. Now, again, the offensive foul. That one I would certainly agree with. I mean, there was good position, solid yeah. there by the defender. CK bench claiming he was yeah. moving his feet side to side, but I, I'm not going to tell you whether I could see it that well. <laughs> nope, and I, I'm just going to focus on the scoreboard, actually, at this no, point in time. 2.45, where I'm not going to care. We've got a lead. We've got to understand uh, time and the score and possession and uh, stay focused on those things. Martinez. Over to Simpson. Newquist. Ball gets stripped and Ty Luna yep. may be out of the ball game. I think that is five. We'll see. Two, three. Number 23, Ty Luna. Third personal. <laughs> well, number two is third okay. personal. Was that close enough? <laughs> there we go. Oh, there it's we only go. three on here. Only three, three down. There we go. And I think Ty was going. I mean, good defensive efforts all the way around. I think he just he slipped that hand in there a little bit. It wasn't much. That's what's bothering him. No, really, it wasn't that much on there. New quest up yeah. to the free throw line, and the one and one shots off, and Luna comes yeah. away with the board. Boy, he is. He's tough. Solid down low. Yeah. You need that kind of rebounding action. CK actually working to take some time yeah. off the clock using the shot clock. South with a ball hawking defense. Three seconds on Ooh. whom? I think it's uh, Parker, the way he's yep. pleading. Wondering, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that paint looked pretty empty yeah, there for a while. I didn't see too many occupiers. It must have been a foot. <laughs> yep. I don't like that play. No, I don't do that. Because then you have to pick it up off the floor. Oh, yeah, but Martinez is doing exactly what Jimmy South Kitsap needs, trying to score as quick as possible. Absolutely. This will be interesting down down the stretch. And, uh, yeah, Coach uh, Callahan is going to talk about it now. How do you handle the clock you know, when you're behind now? What are we going to do? What kind of opportunities? Every time we come down the floor now, we want a clock stoppage or we want a high percentage shot here. We have two minutes to go. There's time. They said if it, the best scenario is to create situations where we're going to score and we're going to go to the foul line. And if we miss, we're still going to go to the foul line. We want that clock stop, and we want to try to get that foul line as much as we can. CK with the 56-45 lead has to remain aggressive. They have yeah. to keep playing their game. 
take a little bit longer. As you said, you, they do have to be aware of clock management, but if they start going too long, they lose that rhythm yeah. that they had. I think too, Coach uh, for those Cougars, that they've got to play tenacious defense, but keep the hands out. Don't stop the clock with, with your uh, lack of patience. Parker gets it in for the Cougars, back to Tyler. Down to Morgan, he almost had a two on one, but time, they're gonna run time off the clock. Oh, good dish. Luna dishes it down low, turn around by Parker, off. Luna with the board though. Ball knocked loose and South comes away with it under two minutes. Quick jumper by Callahan oh, for three. Oh, big bucket. Big, big bucket. Down to eight, minute 36 left to go. Oh, no look pass and Luna will get a trip to the free throw line. That was the right move to take yeah. the basket that they had and not try to run any time. Yeah, absolutely. And also, with the ball that deep in the paint, you want to make sure that he doesn't score. That's that, true. The foul's got to be not overly aggressive, but enough to make sure that the ball's not going in. That will be the fifth foul yep. for Tom Simpson, and he'll leave the game with 11 points, one of the leading scorers for South Kitsap tonight. And he'll be replaced by Callum Traxel. Riley Callahan, that was a that was a big three-point shot here just a few minutes, just a few seconds ago. And there's Ty Luna at the free throw line. First one bounces off. Would that be another hair pulling moment? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> coach, if you only have one coach pulling hair on this one right now, the other one's going, thank you. Okay. We're okay. Hey, yeah, goes through for Ty. 12 points for Ty. That's his first point in the second half. But Big he... possession. There we go. Clock stop. And now that's the last the thing line. that you want to yeah, do is send the other team up to the free throw line for a chance to make points with no time coming off the Isn't clock. That that's the scenario. That's the game that South Washington have to play right now. Now, this is a one on one, so he's got to get the first one. Both teams in the penalty. Oh, he misses it. But it's off of, South Kit, or off of Central, and South will bring it in with one second off the clock. We've got 129 left to go. Real crucial on those situations there that you box out. Don't give that team an extra opportunity. Oh, nice cut. Oh, nice yes, cut. that was a good inbound play. Martinez with the points. Central's got numbers. And Parker will go to the glass and put it off. That's a tough shot. Great job. Off balance, uses the glass. And on this end, the three-pointer's off and knock, almost knocked loose. Luna with a two-on-one for the Cougars out there. Oh. Nice job. And Lynn Morgan with a great pass to him from Thomas. Martinez for three. And John Kelleher with a timeout. We've still got 51.1 seconds left to go, and it's an eight-point deficit for the South Kitsap Wolves. Boy, especially in this fourth quarter, but it's been fun to watch Central Kitsap run the floor. They've played off of each other well. Their spacing on their fast break has been excellent, and their passing has been timely and good decisions. It's been very, it's been a good art for them. They've executed that transition on offense very well. But now, boy, here we go, 51 seconds to go. Crucial now. Got to get some points scored without clock running. Well, Martinez has suddenly come alive. He scored nine points in this half, and he's up to yeah. 12. And we knew that was going to happen, and I think Central Kitsap knew that. But they have contained him pretty nicely up till now. And I think Coach Callahan is looking down the way going, OK, also, we get that situation where we've got a foul. They're talking about now who are we going to foul out to the floor to get the clock stopped if we can't do it the other way. And of course, there will be another matchup between these two teams this season down in Port Orchard. Sixty-one fifty-three with fifty-one seconds remaining. Central Kids Apple inbound it and South is putting on the full court pressure. Parker asking for the home run throw. Uh-oh. Almost. 
Double teamed on the baseline, and Central lucky to get away with that one. Oh, and they make it across in 9.7 seconds. <laughs> Gotta be a foul here, I'm pretty sure. We've got a foul. Yeah, you oh. do. There we go. And the man with four fouls him. Bad. And John. I don't think Luna was who they wanted fouled. I could be wrong, if, but I'm, that's yeah. the way I'm reading Coach Gallagher. You're right. Uh, Coach Gallagher was yelling the same thing. Foul oh, yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, they lost about five or six seconds there, not being able to get the foul right away. And that's only for uh, Lado. Okay. Lado, according to our. Oh, Luna bounces it around. Yeah, Martinez with it. Turn around jumper. Oh, nice rebound by Luna. We're gonna have a foul. Yeah. This might take care of Lado <laughs> if it's on him. I think you're right. All right, let's see. Yes, we're coming here. Yep. Yeah. No, wait a minute. And again, oh, Luna strong 24. underneath the boat. The, oh, is he? The board. Nice job. Yeah, that's five on Hazley, so it'll take care of him. <laughs> he's been very, he's been dominant in the inside the second half. Luna, he's been, he's played really sure strong. Has. Coming Always in. in the right Time. position. Yeah. Coming in for the Wolves is Kellen Traxel. Coach Callahan only has three seniors on this team. Ooh. That's pretty good and a pretty young team for Coach uh, McMines yes. also. Similarities continue. Yes. Oh, that long shot is off. And With Luna working. Yeah, South right. grabs it though. Another quick oh. turnaround long shot. And whistle blows. <laughs> Seven point eight left to go. Coach Callahan was looking. It was a foul on that three. <laughs> <laughs> he was working it. He was trying. It, it was close. It looked. It was close. Worth worth the argument or the emphasis of the point. That is correct. And now Lado has five. Yeah. Now he's. We knew he was going sometime. <laughs> he was going to get that fifth. He waited for 7.8 seconds remaining in the game. There we get to see Mr. Lado from, from behind. <laughs> and the beauty of tonight, you're noticing that we have more than the long distance shot. Our director, Garrett Syke, working with three cameras. We have a GoPro and then two live camera personnel. So it's been a lot of fun trying to bring you a whole different view, view, viewpoint. I, if only I could speak. And yeah, Morgan's second one through. Oh, you like that. Very good. 62-53, 7.8 seconds, and it looks like that team from Silverdale is going to take away the W. Long outside off the iron, and that does it at the end of the ball game. The Central Kitsap Cougars come away with a 62-53 win over the North and South Kitsap Wolves in a very entertaining high school basketball game. Boy, outstanding. This is a solid basketball uh, game from both these clubs. Central Kitsap had a little edge tonight and some really solid guard play. A real great team effort by the Cougars tonight. And uh, I think uh, both these teams, I can't wait for the rematch. It's going to be a dandy. Well, what I enjoyed, as usual, with these two is the energy they bring to the court. And every once in a while, it would seem like when we'd watch them in the past, that energy would just kind of go down. I didn't see many drops in energy tonight at all, especially on the Central Kitsap part. Well coached. Yes. I was teams. impressed with the both teams, but Central Kitsap doing a nice job, I thought, of keeping their composure. There was a real, real concentration of focus that they were able to maintain. Exactly, Doc. In, in their game plan, their defensive sets, and their offensive sets, and they, they didn't get disrupted. Well, we want to thank the West Sound crew. We've got Eric Reichel and Patricia Ann on the cameras. And in the back room, we've got Spencer Anderson streaming for the Sun. And we've got Mr. Garrett Sag doing the directing job for you. I want to thank him for coming out to do this so he could do this multi-camera shoot. And at the bench with me is Mr. John Sitton. And John, I sure hope we can do a few more this season. Oh, I want to thank you and Kitty and the entire crew. Thank you for inviting me. This is such a pleasure. Thank you very much. Well, Kitty Campagna on the other microphone. And I'm the Dr. Doc Parr for West Sound TV saying stay tuned. We will see you soon.